So I'm sitting here with one of the great artists in Los Angeles, and uh, the question I have for you is this. Why do you do it, and why are you passionate about it? Um, a couple of different things. The series that I have right now, uh, Bloodlines, is about paying tribute to those that, uh, those whose shoulders we stand on. Uh, stories like, um, you know, my father uh, sharing his story of his grandmother and the hardships that she suffered through, but the strength that she had and the, uh, the, the commitment to lifting up um, her children and keeping the family together. Those kind of stories inspire me. So I'm here to, uh, to, to pay tribute to our ancestors and to carry forth the legacy of who we are and what we're about and, and, uh, and educating and... and um, Building strength and inspiration? I don't know. Uh, my, I'm a multi-media uh, artist, and I work in four genres. You can find uh, or see more of my work at www.tonyscott.com, T-O-N-I-S-C-O-T-T. -T, or you can visit the California African American Museum. I have a one-woman show called Bloodlines. It's the inaugural exhibit in the Gallery of Discovery. It's 1,700 square feet, um, and it uh, takes you on a journey of slavery, but it, it shows you the journey through a different genre. There's a slave cabin, a slave ship, a cotton field, um, embarkation canoe, Frederick Douglass, um, the descendants of slaves. Um, and um, it's, it tells a story, and I uh, hope you take some time to go out and see it. And how long will it be at the uh, at camp? Uh, the show, well, first the show opened in December 2009. Right now it's slated as ongoing. So um, hopefully we'll be there for maybe another year, and I'm hoping it'll travel maybe to the Smithsonian or someplace uh, like that after this. Okay. Now, there are days where every artist questions why they're still in it, mm -hmm. why they didn't take the traditional brick and mortar route that their parents talked about. Mm -hmm. And uh, on those days, where do you find the motivation to continue? to do this? Well, actually, you know, I started out as an artist, and then I thought uh, I couldn't survive. So I, I changed my major. I uh, went to USC, uh, studying international relations, worked on my MBA, went to the corporate world, had an executive position, and went right back to my art because I was really unhappy. So one thing I've learned is that you have to do what you love in order to be happy in life, no matter what the cost. Um, and uh, what gives me the inspiration to push on are people like Frederick Douglass and Dr. King and and, and those are my heroes. So I'll go home on a day that, you know, might have been a challenging day. It's like, okay, if uh, Frederick Douglass can pull through what he went through and, um, and Dr. King sacrificed his life for, for the greater good, my God, you know, uh, another day of carrying forward their messages and, uh, is, is just a small, you know, drop in the ocean to the contributions they give are given. So that's where I draw my strength. I draw my strength from the heroes of the past and the present.